You're listening to the Craig Proctor Real Estate Show. Each week, I'm going to be interviewing top realtors from coast to coast to give you a backstage pass on how they've created their amazing real estate empires and how you can copy them. Hi, everyone. This is real estate coach Craig Proctor, and welcome to another edition of the Craig Proctor Real Estate Show. Today is my special guest, Ariana from uh, Scottsdale, Arizona. Ariana, thank you so much for being my guest here today. Thank you for having me, Craig. It's a pleasure to be here. You've always got such a great uh, smiling face. Uh, I know uh, uh, that everyone's going to look forward to, to hearing your story. So let's talk about um, uh, how you met me and sort of what was going on with your real estate career and what's been happening since. Well, it's a funny story, Craig, and I think I've told you this in the past in you know one of the seminars, but my mom found you many, many, many years ago, and she barely understood any English. Um, we were originally from Mexico, and when she found you, all she knew is that we have to go with this guy, whoever this guy was. And when I got into real estate, I remember- God, God she- bless your mother. <laughs> exactly. So yeah. when I got into real estate, when she- dragged me into it and said, Hey, check it out. She goes, we have to find this person because she joined your system many years ago. She didn't understand anything of what you were explaining, but yet she knew that there was something big going on. So, you know, she unfortunately kind of just got away from real estate. She, I kind of jumped in and she goes, we have to find him again. Let me find his name. So that's how I kind of came to one of your seminars and I was hooked from there. Well, it's always good to to do what mom says. So um, I appreciate that. And what year was that? When did you start with me? I think it was 2019. Okay. So just before the pandemic. All right. Yes. So uh, you came to your first conference, you, you know, you're uh, getting involved with the Craig Proctor system. What were your first thoughts and like what was happening uh, with your business and your mindset at that point? At that moment, I originally got into real estate just truly because what is the best option when you don't know what to do? Get a real estate license. <laughs> that, that's what happened to me. <laughs> yeah. I think that's what a lot of us think. And at that moment, uh, my business, I was truly just doing it for a single transaction. I got into real estate for the one transaction until I transitioned to whatever was next. And here I am, you know, seven years later doing this full time. So my business wasn't really doing much. Again, I just got in for the one transaction. And it started happening very slowly. So I was okay with doing maybe, you know, three transactions per year. That was still making me more than being a, you know, salary manager in the restaurant industry, which is where I came from, uh, and being owner of my own restaurant, right? So from there on out, um, when I went to that first seminar, it was very mind-blowing. I think my mindset was a little bit more open, even though I did struggle with that paradigm shift, right? Um, Because there's still some factors that it was unbelievable. There was some some, uh, talking points that you were going over that were just amazing. And I just couldn't believe what I was listening to. Yeah, so it's a real paradigm shift. I hear from so many of our members that, you know, their, their start with me was attending a super conference. And and they said, uh, Craig, the, attending that conference really lit my fire. It really uh, introduced me to what was possible in real estate, like meeting all these people that had been with you for so many years and they're so successful. And uh, But it's a lot to take in because, um, you know, you, you see people on stage that are making millions of dollars a year and there's so much to learn. Like we spend three entire days and people say it feels like my head's going to explode. So um you know, that was a, th- that's where you started at the conference and you were able to, you know, meet uh, people, hear all these stories, but um, yeah, it, it's, uh, it, it was a, a big shift for you uh, from where you were to, um, you know, hearing from these agents that were really uh, doing great with the Craig Proctor system. That is right. So I started implementing and it took me a little bit to really, truly transition that mind shift. But I can tell you that from when I started, well, just to maybe fast forward, last year, I was fortunate enough. So I was doing three, maybe four transactions a year. That's how it all started. Um, last year, I did, I think, 20, 22 
something like that, which I've never even in my mind, I ever thought that I was going to do that. And I got a quantum leap award. So I was extremely excited for that. Right. So you go from selling three homes a year to selling a house every other week. That's incredible. Exactly. So now, you know, and it's, it's, it's not only the, you know, the increased business that gets me very hyped up. It's just the amount of family that we impact. That's the biggest thing being in the Hispanic community. And I work, of course, you know, with both here and in just Phoenix metro area, but it's just still overwhelming to see how many people need our help of true experienced agents that do this 24 seven. You know, I was talking to my wife about that uh, just the other day. And she said, you know, we we're looking back at all the years of in real estate. And she said, you know, it's amazing all the people that were able to touch and able to help. It's a pretty positive business that way, helping people get into their first home or move up to their dream home. So we're we're lucky to be in this industry. And I know the industry is going through lots of changes and um, realtors have been struggling with high interest rates and the way the economy is. But if we really step, step back and look at it, it's a pretty good opportunity. You know, um, like you had a restaurant business before, you know how difficult that is. You work so hard and uh, I mean, you're working hard when you're on your own business. So um, I think everyone that owns their own business, if they want to be successful, you're you, you're putting your life into it. You're working hard. But uh, you um, you have the opportunity here to have more freedom and to help people. Like I bet you all those years you were running the restaurant, you know, people would say, oh, it was great. I had, uh, you know, it was, it was very nice here. But nobody said, hey, you uh, you changed my life. Where in real estate, you get that, right? First time buyers and people move up and they say, you know, thank you so much for your expertise. And you become friends with these people and you get referrals. So yeah, that's what I really love about real estate. You know, we're not selling, we're not selling things people don't like, right? We're not selling funeral plots. We're not selling life insurance. Right. We're selling people the dream of owning a house. Right. Being such a big purchase and such a big goal for so many families um, again, in the Hispanic market, it just makes it a little extra. Not that it's not important to everybody, but it's, you know, it's the American dream. That's why a lot of, you know, migrants come, you know, because that's, they know they can succeed and do, and, and do, and fulfill goals that, yeah, you know, what's, what's, it's, it's possible. possible here. Yes. It's, it right. may not be possible, uh, uh, in other places, but it is possible here. Um, now your uh we were talking before we got started about marketing and advertising and uh our topic today is about the fact that obviously people have to know you and they have to mm -hmm. like you and they have to trust you if you want them to call you and so you know how what's the best way to do that and uh you're using social media i want you to talk a, about um you know your messaging you're not just saying hi i'm ariana uh I'm, you know i need listings or I'm a great person. Call me. You've got um, really great marketing and you're you're running your marketing across all the different social media uh, channels. So uh, it's kind of cool when um, people are calling you or you get to their house. And they're like, oh, I can't believe you're really here. I see you everywhere. So talk a bit about how you've done that. Well, um, it's I do have somebody, of course, that kind of helps me because as as you teach all the time, we have to understand and we have to learn to delegate and to have other people help us so we can grow. So when I first started, I think it was, you know, every time you said, okay, you got to get in front of a camera. And I kept hearing everybody do it. Like, I'm like, what's the worst that can happen? If I make a mistake, I do it in front of people anyhow. So it's, you know, I could care less what they think at this point. And it was more so losing that fear of what people think. You, you look what you look anyhow, you know, there, it's no different. It's just through a, a lens. I'm so, so glad, I'm so that. glad you said that. <laughs> I mean, I, look, at, I, I think it's very natural that, you know, when we hear our voice or we see ourselves, like we're, we're our hardest critics, but other people don't see it that way. And, and um, like you said, like when you show up at a listing appointment, like this is what you look like and this is what you right. sound like. And we're not bothered by that when we show up at a listing appointment. Uh, so um, you're basically doing a presentation online instead of, you know, face-to-face okay. -face, uh, across the kitchen table. So there is a, um, you know, getting comfortable period with that. Um, the more you do of it, the better you get. And you found that I've certainly been watching your, your stuff and, uh, you know, you can see like what you produce now versus when you started and you've got more confidence. And now you sort of just forget there's even a, a camera there. 
Um, and as far as the technical parts of it, I'm glad you touched on you've got some help because that's another thing that keeps realtors back. Uh, they're like, well, I don't know how to edit the videos and I don't know how to, um, you know, post all these, you know, edit the videos and post them across all the different social media uh, platforms. Uh, so therefore, I can't do it. You don't need to really understand how to do it. You just need to have someone who does. So that's OK. And I just want everyone to know that I don't edit the, what you're watching right now, this interview with Ariane and I. I'm not editing it. I've got Faith here, uh, by the way, who's who edits it. And this is going to be on my this interview will be on our, our Facebook business page and my YouTube channel and LinkedIn across all the different social media. Same with Ariana. So we have um, somebody that knows how to do it. So precisely. Uh, yep. That's a very big point is don't not do something because you don't know how to do it. Go out there and find somebody that knows how to do the thing that you don't know how to do. I think, and also the biggest thing for me, it was at some point when I first started, it was don't look back at your videos, just post them. It doesn't yeah. matter if you start or if you make a mistake for me, you know, both languages in my head, I have to slowly think to be able to, when I'm speaking in English, so I know that it's just a, the true meaning of what I'm trying to say that it comes out. I'm like, at this point, it doesn't matter. People know that I speak two languages so I'm in hopes that I get some grace. <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, I, I'm sure your Spanish is a lot better uh, than than mine. So, uh, uh, but yeah, you know, you've you've got a great niche market, right? You're you're bilingual, so um, you know that's that's very helpful. And so you're you're creating content in both English and and Spanish. Uh, you've got uh, you've got someone to help you, an assistant, so to speak, who helps you edit the videos and place those videos across all the social media. Now, when you start doing this. Uh, this is just advice for everyone watching. Don't expect you're going to get like results right away and, you know, give up in a week. Uh, this takes uh, a bit of time uh, to get yourself out there. And and we're going to talk next about the messaging, because I want to be clear on this. It's not like Ariana is on social media saying, uh, you know, I'm a great agent and I've lived here for a long time and I I, I need listings and I really care about you. Uh, she's not doing that. She's actually offering things that buyers and sellers really want. So, um, and, and the point I want to make is this. A lot of real estate agents, the mistake they make with social media is they believe it's just about creating an awareness. So if I'm on social media and I'm all over the place and I'm just talking about whatever, uh, that that should be good enough. And the the example I want to give everyone to prove that creating an awareness is just not enough is the fact that every single one of us in real estate has had a family member or a friend, a relative, someone we know, list their house or buy a home through another agent. Now, if we think about that, that's someone we knew. That person knew us, but just because they knew us didn't necessarily mean they were going to, they didn't use us, even though they knew us. So we can't, you know, jump to this conclusion that, oh, I'm going to jump on social media. All my marketing should just be about creating an awareness. Uh, because it has to be more than that. What you need to do is you need to link these very important offers and what we call unique selling propositions. So, Ariana, maybe you can talk uh, about some of the offers you make and how you set yourself apart. So, you know, you're not just saying, hi, I'm Ariana, I'm a real estate agent, and you should care about this and call me when you're ready to list. Um, and let me also backstep and say, and I'm not saying you shouldn't create an awareness because obviously if people don't know who you are. They're not going to call you. But there's more than just an awareness. You've got to have great content that explains to the prospects not only who you are, but what makes you different and better by making these incredible offers. So I'll stop talking and I'll let you give a few examples of what you do. I know you get very passionate, Craig. I, I, I do. That. I do. I'm very passionate. <laughs> so I think the two main things before getting into the unique selling propositions is I urge everybody just to be consistent because that's the biggest thing is the consistency, you know, while you're trying to figure out how you're planning your social media, but some of the things and yes, you know, we do want clients and we are after clients, but you know, what, what makes you stand out? So in my case, the biggest thing that I, that I preach about aside from educating, you know, 
prospects because that's what they are. You know, you're branding yourself prospects about what the process looks like. It's also what makes me different or different. So, you know, off market properties, how can I benefit that client and offer them off market properties that are not finding online? Everybody can go to all the sites that we already know that they're already searching even before they contact us. So that's one of the biggest things is how can I beat other buyers to this? The negotiating skills. People don't understand, at least here in Arizona, there's like 70,000 real estate agents or licensed agents. 66% of them have not sold um, a single home in the last 12 months. So it does make a difference. I put the word out there. Hey, it does matter. Some people can talk the talk, but they can't walk it. So it's very important that they're interviewing, you know, what makes each agent differently? Um, you know, buyers in waiting, I'm constantly talking to buyers. So for those sellers that are wanting to sell their home immediately or, you know, letting them know, hey, I may have a buyer ready for your home. So those things are truly, you know, what helps me just, um, you know, be be more noticeable. And I think the biggest of all, as you can see it on my screen, is your home sold guaranteed or I'll buy it. I think that's the biggest thing because that removes some of that stress, worry, you know, that pain point for sellers and for buyers on the same, you know, token. Because I'll buy it back if they don't like what they bought. And that offer gets so many inquiries. Uh, even skeptics are contacting you saying, hey, how does that work? What you, you what will you buy uh, my home for? Maybe explain to everybody, um, how you would how you would describe your home sold guaranteed or I'll buy it? How you describe that to a prospect? Right. So the I think the easiest way to put it is if you are because the concern is or the 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 consumer worries that what happens if I have a home to sell and I need to move to the next one, right? And that I'm left either homeless or with two homes at the same time. So the best way to put it is, you know, I'll promote it and re and remove that risk for the buyer that's coming to buy into your home and try to help them remove that contingency. So when they're coming to purchase the other one, so everything flows, right? Of course, you know, there's, there's certain things and stipulations that are put into play because everybody needs to be protected. But if, if buyer comes and buys this home, you know, uh, while they're, you know, doing their home buying, uh, and then we help on the same token, remove that contingency. So our current seller moves on to the next buy. So it's just, you know, kind of like a chain reaction that I, you know, try to make it a simple process for them. Buyers and sellers love the guaranteed sale program. I mean, honestly, when I started offering that, it was like year two of, of my real estate career. And I go from a nobody to everybody knows who I am. People are calling me and a year later become the number one REMAX agent in the world. Uh, same guy, same marketplace. All I did yep. was change my my offer. So um, that's a great example of a very, very powerful offer that sets Ariana apart from other real estate agents. Uh, if we can't sell your home, we'll buy it. Um, and if you want to know more about how this works, uh, you can book a call with my team at proctorcall.com. We'll, we'll drop that uh, it's a clickable domain. We'll drop it in the comments below. And you can book a half hour of uh, free consultation with us, $0. And we explain what the Craig Proctor system is and how it works. We start off by asking a couple of questions of where you are now and where you want to go. And what do you got to lose? Like, check us out. If, you, if you're watching this, it's a, it's a pretty good sign that you're interested in our approach. And you'll probably have the same reaction that Ariana had when she first heard about it, right? You've got a healthy oh. dose of skepticism, like, well, how would that work? I could never do this. How I, I might get stuck owning all these homes. That's very natural. Um, Ariana, you had all those feelings in the beginning. I would yeah. probably say but I know the answer to this question, but I bet you if I asked you, hey, don't you wish you had implemented the guaranteed sale program earlier or faster? You'd probably say yes. Yes, that and more system. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, so talk to us about um, how it's been going over the last couple of years then. I mean, we had, uh, you, you started up with me in 2019 and then out of nowhere, we got a, pan a worldwide pandemic, uh, mm -hmm. but you actually did pretty good. Like you just kept growing your business, growing your business. Uh, what are your goals going forward? What would you, what would you like your real estate career to look like? 
Well, eventually, definitely, I want to build a team. I want to be able to impact more families and help them, um, you know, accomplish uh, their heart's desire. And um, definitely, you know, increase the amount of transactions, which I've been doing with the help, of course, of you and, you know, all the many coaches that I've been blessed to work with. Um, and I do want to follow on the footsteps of Shelly Salas being in the Hispanic market herself. <laughs> yeah, number one Hispanic agent in the country. Shelly Salas yeah. is a longtime Craig Proctor member. So yeah, that's a great, uh, a great person to look up to 100%. Um, she's definitely you know, my one of my role models. Oh yeah, I, I, mean, I mean you as well, but yeah. she's in the Hispanic market, so that's you know my <laughs> my second. Well, the truth is, we have so many role models within Craig Proctor um, that you know become your friends when you come to our conferences. Uh, I I kind of joke around with Todd and I say I, I don't even know if they're coming to see us anymore. You know, you're coming to see <laughs> Shelley and Nathan Clark and. And uh, all of uh, the, the superstars within the Craig Proctor system, uh, that's a big part of it. And you mentioned the coaches. All of our coaches successfully sell real estate using the Craig Proctor yeah. system. I know a lot of coaching companies, well, sometimes even the head coach themselves has never sold real estate, which is crazy to me. They've never sold real estate and they've never, um, you know, they've never even had a real estate license. Um so there are good mentors out there, whether it's me or somebody else. My advice to everybody is find someone that's actually sold real estate at a high level. You know, if you uh, if if I want to be a great golfer, I don't want to learn um, from I don't want a, a golf coach who hasn't been a great golf player at some point. Um, but there's uh, that that's the crazy thing about this area, and I see all of these um, people on social media that have no actual track record or experience doing what they're telling other people to do, which is very dangerous, by the way. But you know what? Let me just touch up on that a little bit uh, more to emphasize that relationship that you make, those friends that you make when you're connecting with other uh, Proctor members. I truly, truly, uh, I'm, you know, my gratitude for putting all of these amazing people in one room, aside from learning from the best you and Todd is, is I, now I understand the meaning of sharing and collaborating as agents. And I know that I, since I personally know Shelly as well, that if I need something, I can call her, you know, the number one agent in, you know, in the U S for the Hispanic market, if I'm trying to get there, I don't, you know, I wouldn't even hesitate to give her a call. And I know she would gladly share with me what she did to get to that point. And that's what I love about the system too, is we become a family and everybody likes to share. And that I truly appreciate. Yeah. And you really can't find that anywhere else. It's not like uh, other agents in your marketplace are going to be open or sharing with you. But um, I hear this all the time that the Craig Proctor superstars are the very best sharers, you know, people that have been involved in other coaching programs where they're like, first of all, uh, where do you find people uh, doing this kind of level of production? Uh, what did Shelly do? Like a thousand transactions last year, something crazy, right? Um, so something you, very crazy. Yeah. Like, um, you know, it's, it's a Tracy King. I think Tracy in, in Tennessee did like uh, 800 or a thousand transactions. Nathan Clark in Rhode Island five or 600 transactions. So we've got these incredible superstars that if you're watching this and you come to a Craig Proctor conference, my uh, advice to you is go meet them. Don't be shy. Uh, go up and introduce yourself. Just like you, Ariana, you put yourself out there and you said, um, you locked your eyes on Shelly and you said, that's the person <laughs> I'm going to get to know right there. Not only, not only her is like, okay, let's go have yeah. lunch. Nancy Kowalik's going to be there. I'm there. You Nancy's know, everybody awesome. Sitting at? <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's it. just implant yourself at their dinner table. Exactly. Um, it's now, go mingle with everybody. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, that's uh, in, in, in so many great ideas and stories and experiences get shared even after the conference is over at the bar or at dinner. Uh, you know, I, I think, uh, um, you know, mingling at the bar after the conference is like the second conference after the main conference where, you know, uh, people, if they're a little bit shy, whatever, they have a drink or so, and they, they kind of open up and you meet lots of people. So yeah, great friendships and relationships are made inside of Craig Proctor Nation. Now we do have a free report that we want to offer everyone to, to help you out that I'm just giving away for free. Uh, Faith, could you just share that? And all you have to do to get what we're offering here today is drop your email address into the comments 
And uh, this is how I do it. Uh, this is how Ariana does it. You can see the name of the free report is how social media can help you overcome your biggest problem, which is obscurity, right? So if you believe that you're a good realtor and you just need to get more people to know you and like you and trust you and, and contact you, we show you how to do this. This is absolutely free of charge. You can see there's the 10 tips uh, that we give you and just walk through it step by step. No, tip number one, number two, all the way through. So um, thank you, Faith, for sharing that. Everyone, just drop your email address in the comments, and Faith here will email that out. No strings attached. And also, Faith, if you could type into the comments, proctorcall.com. You probably did that already, but please do it again. You can click on that. You're going to go to my acuity day timer. Pick a day and a time that works for you, and we'll have a conversation about where you are in your business and where you'd like to go and what you've tried that's worked and what you've tried that hasn't worked. And we'll have a conversation about what we'd recommend that you do. And that's free of charge. People are skeptical, right? They're like, well, why would Craig uh, do this presentation here today? Or why would he give us these free reports? Or why would he offer to, uh, to do this free um, breakthrough consultation? My attitude is this, the easiest way uh, to prove to all of you that I can help you is just to start helping you. So with Ariana's help today, Ariana is busy. She didn't need to be here today. Um, so, um, you know, she, I, I want to thank her for coming here out of her busy schedule and sharing her experience. And Faith is going to be emailing you out all the reports and we'll spend the time with uh, those of you that are interested. And again, I assume that if you're still watching this, you kind of like it, right? Um, so it's great to learn from people that are successfully doing the thing that you want to do. Whatever you feel is your your obstacles. And I, I got to say, this is so true, Ariana. The number one thing that holds us back is us. That's right. It really is our mindset, right? It's all the stuff that we learned, maybe since we're kids, you know, definitely all the stuff they yeah. teach us. Like when I got into real estate um, and I took the course, you know what I was thinking, Ariana? I was thinking, well, I know all the rules and I have my license, so that should be good enough, right? I'm a good person. I'm going to work hard. I, I take care of my clients. That should be enough. But nobody taught me how to get any clients, right? So um, I struggled. And that's the case for many of you here today. You know you do a good job. You know you're a good person. You're a good realtor and you work hard for your, your clients. You just need more people to know who you are and what you do and what makes you different and better. And if you do a good job, the call to action that I want you guys to start using is to call me. So I would do something like this, uh, like Ariana would say, uh, Ariana would say, uh, you know, if you'd like to get a, a, a list of all these off-market homes in your marketplace that nobody else even knows about, um, then give me a call. Um, you know, I'll be the one answering it. This is my cell phone. You can call me or text me. So it's really easy because they feel like they know you now. You're making a good okay. offer, something they want. And it's as easy as them either calling you or if it's easier uh, texting them. Now you got a chance. You got people calling you. They know who you are. They obviously like you or they wouldn't call you. It's it's weird that they kind of feel like they know you, even though you haven't met them because you're in front of them. You start to be in front of them over and over again. Um, it's a weird feeling, but I like it. <laughs> and I like, I, I'll tell you, Arian, I like that feeling a lot more than in the beginning when I was knocking on doors or cold calling. I was so poorly positioned. I had no confidence. Everybody was saying no. And it's just such a reversal when people are calling you saying, hey, I I, I've, I, I see you on Facebook or I've been watching your YouTube stuff or I, I got your direct mail piece in the mail. And, and usually it's all of this combined. And you know, how does that guaranteed sale program work? Or how do I access unlisted and off-market properties? Now, we're at bat. You know, the analogy I give is like, you could be the world's greatest baseball player, but if you don't get to bat, the manager never puts you up to bat, you're not going to get a home run. So that's what the marketing and the Craig Proctor system does for you. It gives you more at bats. And I know you guys can hit the ball out of the park once you're up to bat. And um, Ariana, that's what's happened, right? Three transactions a year or two, it's going to be soon 30, 40, 50. And, um, you know, we're all rooting for you to just continue to grow your business and it's uh, it's exciting. I'm I'm so it makes me so happy to uh, to see you excited about your business and uh, really setting these uh, goals. And you are going to be uh, somebody the next generation of Craig Proctor. People watching right now 
are going to be saying, I want to be like her, right? They're gonna, people are going to want to get to know you and and look up to you uh, as you progress through the Craig Proctor system. So any um, any final thoughts before we wrap it up for today? The biggest thing, if I am to close with, you know, with the biggest thing here is anybody that is a professional, a true professional in any industry finds a coach. You are my coach and I'm very grateful for that because now with all the changes that real estate industry is going through, I can set, collect and negotiate my fee without a problem. And we've been doing this for years now where agents right now are panicking. And this is just my call to action to everybody. If you are one of those agents that don't know what to do overall or feel that your business is stuck, get a coach, get a coach, do listen. It takes sometimes uh, a little bit of time to really sink in that information that is being shared with you, but trust the process, trust the process. If you don't evolve, then you're going to just end up losing. That's great advice. And I happen to know a good coach, guys, if you if you uh, would like to <laughs> would like to have a conversation with us, uh, please do at least order the, the free report, read it over, be open minded about this. OK, I promise you uh, there are agents in the Craig Proctor Network that are making millions and millions of dollars a year. I've created more millionaire real estate agents than any other coach or trainer or guru over the last 25 years. And they will share with you. They will explain um, whatever struggle you're going through right now, they're going to say, yeah, I, I had that problem, but here's how I figured it out. Here's what I did. So don't think you're alone. Don't, don't think, well, um, you know, I can't make it or things are so tough. Everyone's gone through these periods of times where they struggle. And I imagine you're watching this here today because you are looking for a mentor. You're looking for, uh, people to help you that know what they're doing. So you've come to the right place. And Ariane, I want to thank you so much for doing this today. We'll get you back on, you know, when you get to 30 and 40 and 50 transactions a year. Uh, and I want to thank everybody for watching this. Uh, you know, it's, it's great to have everybody here and get to know more people. Uh, and uh, if you know other realtors that you think would benefit from watching our interview today, please do share this interview, share it maybe with your broker owner. I'm sure your broker owner wants to help all the agents in the office. So we're going to wrap it up for today. Uh, a big uh, virtual applause for Ariana. Thank you so much for doing this. <laughs> Thank you. Thank um, you. May I, I just may I just this, add? If anybody is truly just looking for additional information, uh, you know, any additional insight, just contact me. I'm open. I'm I'm willing to share. 480-406-0863. Again, I'm in the Phoenix metro area. So if you want to talk more about what this coaching coaching system has done for me, I will be glad to share with you. Just give me a call. That is so generous uh, for you to make that offer. Can you repeat your uh, your phone number one more time, please? Yes, it's 480-406-0863. And remember, hablo español. Okay, English or Spanish, there you go. Yeah. And we'll drop Ariana's phone number into the comments below along with my contact information. You can email me at any time at craig at craigproctor.com. Pretty easy, craig at craigproctor.com. Anyway, we'll let everyone get back to work. Ariana, thank you so much for doing this. And we'll talk to everybody soon. This is real estate coach, Craig Proctor. Thank you, Craig. Hi, this is Craig Proctor. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed that video. And listen, I've got a lot more information for you to help you grow your real estate business. You see, several times a week, I record new videos and I load them onto this YouTube channel. What I'd like you to do if you'd like to access them are two important things, and both are totally free. Number one, is I'd like you to subscribe to this channel. You're gonna see a little subscribe button for you to click on. And if you don't already have an account with YouTube, it's free for you to set it up. It's really easy, it's free, but you've got to subscribe to this channel. And the most important thing is to ring the little bell right next to the subscribe button. And that's gonna let you know every time I load new money-making videos to help you grow your real estate business. So make sure you subscribe right now, you ring the little bell, and we'll see you on the next video.